Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna be honest, I know that people used to come to me a lot for like relationship advice and whatever. And since I've been celibate, I have genuinely realized that people do not want your advice. Like they literally don't care and they don't want to hear it. This is her definition of people coming to her for advice. I'm gonna try to push my own ideas on people and act surprised and getting mad when they refuse to listen. She said she's celibate and that means she's not in a relationship. And I'm guessing she's trying to say she's not even dating. Considering that what makes you feel so entitled to give advice to people who are already in a relationship. A woman and a man should not live together before marriage. And there's a reason why I think that. So a lot of these women are doing things like basically playing house to a man. You know, they're feeding him, they're living with him, you know, they're sleeping together, they're, they're just doing everything together. But when you do that for a man, you're not leaving him any sense of responsibility for you. If you save all of that to a point where you're married, he knows that he has to be a certain man to get to that point to take care of you. He will feel like he has a responsibility to take care of you. Versus just being that girl that's just there to cook for him. You, you're living with him. You know, you're paying bills together. What would be the point of him getting married to you? There would literally be no point. And then it also makes it easier to leave. There's no attachments. There's nothing that's keeping him from leaving. He just needs to move, move out. That's it. You're just his roommate. You're not his girl. But when a man feels like he has a sense of responsibility, he's going to want to work on things. He won't leave a relationship as easily. Um, you know, same thing for a woman. It's vice versa. When you have a sense of responsibility, like you have a, a marriage is like a child, you know, you have to take care of it. You have to cater it. But when you don't have those ties with each other, there's no need to do all that. You have to make them feel like they have to earn you. Okay. They have to earn the responsibility to take care of you. They have to earn, you know, a marriage. And I feel like women have more control of how their relationship goes than they think. Um, and I think that's the problem is a lot of women think that, you know, it's like, oh, men are doing this, men are doing that, and they're running this. But I feel like when it comes to relationships, women, we have, we actually have a hold of how the relationship will be like. Do you know? Is that why none of you are in relationships? And I know some people will agree with you, some people will disagree with you. But it's up to the both of them that are in that relationship to dictate the terms of their own relationship. Do I even have a say in all that? Or for you, when it takes two to tango, you're up dancing and I need to be sitting down and look pretty. And like I said, people will have different opinions on living together. Me, I will never marry someone without living together first. I need to make sure that we can live together for a week without jumping at each other's throat. It's like playing the lottery. If you have a ticket that you don't know the result and you have a ticket that you know you're gonna win, would you ever still go for the ticket that you don't know the chances of winning or losing? There are people who've been together for a year or two. They never lived together. They went on vacation for one week and they broke up when they came back as they realized they can stand each other when they have to live together. You want to take that chance when it comes to marriage with something that it should be for the rest of your life? Go ahead. I won't take any chances like that this one's gonna hurt but you have to accept it no no i don't you are looking for true love and they are looking for self-love aren't you all on tiktok looking for self-love putting yourself first and all that or was it that you couldn't find that true love when it comes to loving yourself if you're a gen x or millennial man i need to know would you date me? Nope, and we're not paying for that account either. So I got like a situation going on and I told someone about it. And their first question was, damn, dot, dot, dot. What did you do? And this is just my public service announcement to be a little bit kinder to people because you don't know what's going on in their lives. 
Sure, I'm all up for being kinder to people. Everyone that's been watching me for a while knows that I pretend that. But I also stopped being impressed by Crocodile's Tears on TikTok quite a while back. The whole point of you talking to that someone was for you to tell them about the situation, the stuff that you're going through. So I'm pretty sure they knew what you're going through. That response that you got from them was not them not being nicer. It was them not boosting your ego or feeding into your validation. I'm sorry you didn't get the exact response you expected from them them but that doesn't mean they're not nice or that they should have been nicer to you i know i'm gonna make this longer than i should just keep ahead 30 40 seconds it's always crazy to me that people are looking for fake friends because they're afraid that the a-hole in the group is gonna hurt their feelings he's not the a-hole he's your true friend the ones that are always the yes queen when you're with them and then they laugh behind your back when you're not around they're not your real friends i'm always gonna go for the a-hole in that group the one who's gonna lift you up the one who's gonna have your back when you're not around Around. he's also gonna be the one that is gonna sit you down look you right into your eyes and gonna go you're not doing that you're not 14 15 anymore you need to get your act together that's gonna be your true friend and that's the only friend i want around me those are gonna be the ones who stick around when you need them the most while the other ones are gonna laugh at the stuff you're going through smoothie guy messes me back and instead of confirming our date today he goes how about tomorrow Huh? I did an everything shower today. I blow dried my hair. Oh, do you see my hair? Come on now. I hate it when guys do this. They'll like cancel day of. Like, do you realize that girls spend the whole day getting ready? We don't just like get ready the hour before. Like we, we get ready like two days in advance. We like plan our shower schedule, the audacity. So I'm deciding if I'm gonna go tomorrow because I don't actually have plans tomorrow. Like I could go tomorrow, but I'm like mad at him. Oh no, now that's gonna ruin his day, especially since he has no idea. Yeah, sometimes life happens and you need to reschedule, make new plans. Especially since he had no idea, like me, that you need a schedule to plan your showers. <laughs> you, need to, you need to plan your showers, have a schedule for your showers. What if something happens in between and you need to take another shower? You cross it off the schedule and don't take another shower the next day? Listen to me right now, you are going to start walking around like everything you do is magic. Everything you touch is magical and you just have that magic touch that makes anything turn into something beautiful and magical. I know, I mean I do know magic. All I have to do is say abracadabra and poof, stuff magically disappear. David Copperfield, David Copperfield who? He ain't got nothing on me. I love traveling alone. My God, last time I was in Barcelona, it was maybe seven years ago, and I was with a boyfriend that was kind of abusive and not really nice. And I really hated Barcelona because I had this strong image in my head that I couldn't do anything that I wanted to. It was always about him and uh, what he wishes to, to do, etc. And I had just to shut up. And anyways, uh, I think that uh, it happens uh, and I don't know if it already happens to you, but enjoy your time alone. Just like before going in a relationship or something, enjoy your time alone. And it's a good advice I'm, I'm telling you, believe me. I won't. I'm sorry your first experience in Barcelona was not that good because of that man. He was whatever, it didn't work out, now you're single. Fair enough. But why exactly are you telling people to stay single? Why is it never find someone who's gonna treat you right and the two of you can enjoy life together no matter the place you're in? Hello guys. Today we are in Bucharest. In Romania, yeah! Oh, yay! So, I'm going to stay here for a while, maybe a few months, probably. So, I'm going to show you a bit more of uh, this city, because I think that Bucharest in Romania is underrated. So, if you're willing to follow my journey, guys, click the button, subscribe, and stay posted. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, Romania, Bucharest is beautiful. We know. Oh, it's underrated. Yeah, we know. Can you do us all a favor and please leave before you mess it up? So this person 
found his camera after it was stolen while he was traveling. Now I told him how to manifest it back and he got it back within like a week. It happened to me once. They didn't transfer my luggage in Dubai and I got home missing one. I did manage to get it back somehow, not because I manifested, but because of the people at the missing luggage must have manifested it and I did get it back two days later. Princess, you're an OF girl. I know you're trying some different content with manifestation and stuff, but let's face it, manifest works and that's where all you manifested to be a no F girl and not really a successful one making a few hundred dollars out of that that was all you wanted to manifest to be a no F girl if you like Thai women set them free if she come back to you that means nobody want her so set her free again Okay, sounds like a plan. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.